so all set i think today this day of multiverse uh, shirley ma'am uh, we are having uh, your session theater session and also they are going to they have seen some wonderful movies and they are uh, uh, having an appreciation session coming up after this so it is totally into theater and the world of cinema <laughs> Uh, so uh, now i'll just talk about shirley ma'am i i have already told about shirley ma'am um, uh, the one thing i have noted uh, last five days is shirley ma'am has been with us almost on all days um, i don't know how much of how many of you have noted she was here uh, during the music session i know and the, the first session she was looking at what all are possible uh, um, uh, how are things panning out about she must have made an understanding of all of you because she uh, shirley ma'am has been dealing with uh, children like you for the last maybe two, uh, two decades or more um she has been conducting uh, theater camps when uh, at the time when the vacation comes in kerala uh, the changamura park which is the one of the uh, most um, uh, uh, sought out destination for children's activities etc that they'll, they'll be having a 10 day camp uh, shirley ma'am you know Uh, uh, she, uh, her uh, uh, late husband uh, somasudana sir was very well known in the circles before knowing her uh, I, i i have been hearing about him about somasudana sir uh, right from that days uh, we have heard of uh, this couple uh, somasudana sir and leshali ma'am and she was in vidyodaya doing theater and several other uh, activities in vidyodaya so she is a master uh, with de dealing with children getting them organized uh, getting their creativity out and in all the camps i have seen in uh, several camps of the, of, from the last uh, 10 days uh, uh, by the end of the 10th day the children will be performing at, um, at least at least three or four plays uh, and uh, play, play by plays i means the uh, dramas and uh, all aspects of that would be done by the children all aspects the script that the, uh, the direction the costumes uh, i think people uh, uh, children like persons like khyati etc would be very excited everything would be uh, um, uh, done by the children and a wonderful and one single script would be presented in many ways by uh, the four teams actually surely ma'am um, this the concept of our arts fest we have an arts fest here in the multiverse uh, it will be on the final day actually we have drawn that concept from your concept only <laughs> actually uh, sadish i am just not uh, joking because the, uh, this was the first time actually in malavilli camp in uh, in kernakulam actually we saw we saw the we, we saw the possibility of leave it to the children they will can, they will come up with a uh, with a wonderful show to be performed before an august gathering at the changamura park who have come uh, very eager to watch a wonderful play they have seen wonderful plays there and they are coming to watch children's play so that is the same format we have fo fo uh, followed here last year because uh, anil is coordinating our arts festival activities what he does is um, uh, by the eighth day all tasks which you see are completely off all those things are and totally um, uh, these children are going into uh, arts fest mode they are organizing they are calling the guest um, uh, they, um, uh, they they uh, we, they come up with a panel of guest uh, we, we just assist them that is a, a mode we organized last year and this year also it will not be different so that has been uh, the format the methodology followed by this uh, mashirli ma'am uh, with her inner camps so she was here the commitment of shirley ma'am uh, is very evident from the fact that she was here for the last 3 2 3 or 4 sessions uh, she was here to see how this went and she i i i heard she is saying to sadish i got the concept of zoom rooms now i'll see what can we work with that not for this camp for our camps ahead so i'm not talking much it, um, the time is always running out Uh, lot to say surely ma'am you will have a wonderful time i'm sure of, uh, about that and uh, i'm not expecting a law big topic like theater to be totally but i'm sure she will inspire you to the world of theater that is sure to happen sure to happen and uh, hoping for a wonderful session surely ma'am over, over to you <laughs> okay thank you vishadas for your wonderful introduction good evening my dear young friends uh, satish anil and uh, krishnadas big thank you for inviting me to this session uh, with me it is my friend purna is also there so uh, together we are trying to bring some uh, theater sense into you and uh, krishna said about uh, workshops today i'm 
rushing from a workshop to this place. Krishna's today Manorama workshop is over. I was there as the course director. Ten days Manorama workshop uh, was there. Okay, it is really, really enriching experience to be with children. I'm learning a lot from them. Today, today I'm very sure that definitely I will get some uh, beautiful tips from new people to improve myself. All the world is a stage. That is the name of our session. I'm starting with a question. Can uh, any one of you tell me whose line is this? All the world is a stage. All men and women are mere players. You might have studied this in your English textbook or you will study in near future. No textbook will, uh, book will be there. Uh, before finishing your 10th standard, definitely you might have gone through these lines. Any idea? I will give a clue. A great, great dramatist and a poet. He has written 37 plays and 154 small poems called sonnets. There are many, many plays after him. Imitation plays, many movies here. Recently, we have a movie in Malayalam, Joji, after his famous drama. I can't give more clue, dear friends. Sonali, an answer has come in the chat from Rishikesh, ah, Shakespeare. Rishikesh, Shakespeare, very good, Rishikesh. It is Shakespeare, yes. And uh, Shakespeare's birthday and death anniversary, yes, it is from Shakespeare's play, As You Like It. He wrote both comedies and tragedies. Comedies are plays which is having a very tragic beginning. Lot of bad things and uh, pathetic things are happening. But at the end, it is a happy ending. That is called a comedy. Not the farcical things we are seeing in movie. It is not a comedy when we are saying in a drama. Very uh, critically saying it is something having a happy ending throughout the play. There may be very, very uh, pathetic, sad, uh, heart rendering uh, situations, but at the end it will be happy. And uh, then what will be tragedy? Any wild guess? A story ends in a uh, 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 tragedy. Can uh, in, in any tragedy, very reverse thing. The first half will be very, very happy. Everything going very smooth. But slowly, slowly, things are getting dark and dark. And finally, a very tragic. And it is called a tragedy. As you like, to, as you like it to say, a comedy. And one more question to you. Shakespeare's birth uh, day and death anniversary are on the same day. I will... Uh, say the date also. It is April 23rd. It is internationally celebrated on which day? April 23rd. Book the day. Book, book it's very good. International Book Day. Who told it? Rishigesh. Rishigesh. Okay. If Shakespeare, now you know about Shakespeare. Now, I would like to know who is known as Indian Shakespeare. We should be proud of our culture. And our writers, our poets, our dramatists. Shakespeare is a European. Oh, definitely we have to respect other culture, but we should be proud of the, uh, what we are saying in our pledge. Proud of our rich and varied heritage. Yes. So, who is known as Indian Shakespeare? Kalidas. Kalidas. Very good, Kalidas. Very good, Kalidas. Can anyone say any one of his plays? So many places are there. Okay, that is about just intro. Now, when you hear the word drama or theater, what are the things coming to your mind? Here I am giving some words other than which all things are coming to my your mind, you should share. Here I have written art, script, audience. Props, makeup, mic, light, curtain, stage, costume, rehearsal. Anything else coming to your mind? 
story 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 is monet that is what is called a script story of the play is called a, a script here it is written with a dialogue so it is called a script actually that is story itself okay now let us do a game yes uh, we need a director or definitely yes we need a director we if you are keeping all these things and there is nobody to direct the thing and nobody to assemble assemble whole thing and give a shape shape to it it will be there and no play is going to happen very good that is why i have left it okay now uh we are going to do a game and you should explain uh what all these words are to theater who does start the word is makeup okay tell me how much important is makeup to theater or why we are using makeup makeup when you are doing a drama so that you look more like the character in the story yes definitely definitely it will give an extra look to the character or enhance the character or make the performance of the character more believable and the character is easy to uh, communicate with the audience who is sitting over there my next question is that without makeup can you do a drama yes yes definitely without makeup you can do a drama so we don't want that or not take it away spin it out so which is the next one curtain okay what is the purpose of curtain in a theater the curtain is to open is to show the show that it is starting it is opening and it gives a dramatic effect to the opening yes it is uh, giving a dramatic effect the main thing is that it is keeping the things uh, what is happening behind or all the preparations happening on the stage is covered and this curtain is a very new addition to theater earlier there were no curtain it was very open during shakespeare's time uh, there was no curtain and a two days ago when the madam who was uh, talking about that paintings and everything she told about patrons who are patrons i was very sure uh, she was explaining it to you patrons when she was saying about painting some patrons are there they are supporting the painters people give money yeah those yes, paper uh, patrons are the people those who are supporting this artist so drama also uh, are uh, done in such a way that there will be patrons and uh, they are in, in today's technical word we can say producers because they are pumping in money and during that time there was no curtain it was very difficult and very disturbing for the actors that the patron will interfere in between he may be sitting uh, there with his friends or relatives or some vips and when once some scene is so catchy he will order repeat it do it again so then poor uh, actors have to do it again sometimes some patrons will be so proud of the performance of the actors that he will come to the stage and give some gift to uh, the actors all these things are disturbing the performance of the actors acting is a biological process if something is happening in between the real flow of the performance is always obstructed but that time there was no other choice because they are pumping in the money uh, so my question is that without curtain can we do a play yes please. yes definitely so we we can eliminate it next una stage i am going uh, to explain about stage in detail uh, stage is a space where you are performing you have seen street plays street plays have you seen plays happening over the street corners not haven't seen yes yes yes, yes. is there any stage there 
No, street no. is there. The street is this place. They are finding some space and performing. So, is stage a must for play? No. No, we can eliminate it. Actor. Is there a play possible without an actor? No. 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 He is a must. So let us keep him there. Una. Next is mic. This mic and acoustics are very new addition to theater. Only 150 years old practice. Earlier, there were no mic. People were using their own voice and uh, responding. So, is mic is a must? No. 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 In street plays, they are not using mic. So, mic is not a must. So, eliminate it. Now, only four are left. And next is audience. Is a play possible if there is at least one person is not there to watch the play? No. 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 Like actor, at least one person should be there to watch the play. So we need audience. Let it be there. Puna, spin out. Props. What are props? Uh, props are things that are used to make the character that are used for the like the stick. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Props are certain things used on stage to support the performance of the character. It can be like these goggles, it can be a cap, it can be an umbrella or a chair which he is sitting. All this, anything other than the actors on the stage are called props. Without props, we can do drama. So, we are eliminating that also. Yes, costume. What is the purpose of costume? To make the play. So a particular character of the yes, it gives life to a particular character. Here, see the prince is standing over there, all glittering gown, uh, his crown is there, shining shoes is there. Then, if such a good costume is there, it is very easy for the actor to render his character. But without costume, can we do drama? Can we? Yes, yes sure. Sure. So spin it out, uh, expel it out. And what are the two integral parts remaining? Actor and the audience. Yes. My dear young friends, if there is at least one person to watch and one actor to perform, there will be drama. These two things are the integral part of the drama. All other things which we have discussed are supporting system that will enhance the performance, highlight the performance and make the show a really, really entertaining event. Next, we are moving to next one, stages. Okay, now I told you that stage is the place where uh, real uh, drama happens. And this is the most common stage you are all familiar with. The portion uh, 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 that, that uh, the cursor, that is the friend portion of the stage. In drama, there is a technical name for it. It is called a down stage. It is called down stage. And the rear end of the stage is called a up stage. When you are reading an English play in your English textbook, there may be instructions like that. Actor moves to the down stage. Actor moves to the up stage. Down stage means he is moving towards the front portion of the stage. And down stage means he is moving to the back side of the stage. And you have seen the light. That is the most uh, powerful point on a stage. When you are doing a play on the stage, be careful to catch the light. 
there may be certain points on the stage where the uh, light is falling you should uh, learn to catch the light in movie also it is like that you have to catch the light and favor the light and after that there is a portion between the stage and see, you can see the people sitting there on the chairs and there is a small area between uh, the uh, stage and the audience. It is called the pitch. It is called the pit. It is a space where usually uh, the technicians, musicians, and all sit. Actually, this is coming from Shakespeare's play. During Shakespeare's time, uh, the inside the auditorium, very rich and influential people were sitting at the balcony. And that seat was known as God's seat, God's seat, God, God's seat. In front of that, aristocratic lords and uh, rich people are sitting on chair. After that, in the front portion, poor London people are uh, coming to uh, watch this drama. They are standing. When they are standing, definitely they are blocking the uh, vision of those people sitting on the chair and at God's uh, chairs sitting over there. Then Shakespeare, the master craftsman, got an idea. He made a deep pit over there and asked these people to stand there. So these poor Londoners stand there neck deep and watch the play. And the quite interesting factor is that they are getting the best vision of the play. They are getting the best uh, uh, view of the performance on the stage. Why? Not like in theater, in a movie, the best seats are always in front row when there is a drama performance there. Those who are sitting in the God seat will get a vague, vague look of the things, what is happening on the stage. And there is another word connected with the, the speech and Shakespeare's theater. It is box office. What is the meaning of the word box office? Very much common now we are using when a movie is coming uh, like out. All the movies go where all the plays go after. What? Where when, all the plays go later. Like. When we say it's a box office kit, what does it mean? A place for collecting. Oh, uh, yes, collect, collecting, yeah. a, uh, uh, getting a lot of collection. When a movie is a kit, we say it's a box office kit. In Shakespeare's time, Shakespeare was a very shrewd businessman and he kept a box in front of the theater office and the people, those who are coming over there has to uh, put certain amount of money in it. And the poor people standing in the pit has to put one penny inside that box. So at the end of the play, uh, they will count the money in the box and if it is a good collection, they say it's a box of his kit. And from that stay, theater, the word box office is coming to be, uh, coming to modern English also. And the word pity is also connected with the word pit. The people are standing for that time, the play are four and five hours and all these four to five hours, these poor people are standing over there. So because of the sympathy and concern for them, the word pity is used. So pit, pity and box office, these three words are coming from home. Shakespeare. Now, next stage. This is trust stage. As the word says, a portion is just trusting out, jetting outside. The real stage is there. Performance is happening over there. And when some very highly, uh, highly emotional scene is there, the actor may move forward and come close to the audience and perform. This is not very common in uh, our stages. Next stage. I'm so sorry that I'm not able to get a good picture to show this. This is called a sandwich stage. Sandwich means uh, two bread pieces are there and something is stuffed inside it. Like this, the performance area is in the middle. Performance is happening there and we, uh, the viewers are sitting on either side of the stage. It is very difficult to perform uh, on such a stage because actors have to entertain people sitting on both sides. So the acting pattern is very much different from that is on a proscenium stage. Next, Puna. This is ancient Greek stage pattern. This is a modern theater. 
but the idea is from ancient greek stage arena stage see the round portion is the stage and performance is happening there and people are sitting around the stage just imagine the plight of a actor who is acting over there he has to move all around to address all the people so usually on arena stage musical places are happening so the actor will get the support of music team usually chorus singers are there move around and perform okay these are something about the stages and we told early that theater can happen without any stage no stage see this is a performance happening uh, at an open space and this can be a, a street corner market place your playground or a bus stand a park anywhere so this is the performance done by my uh, theater team at ernagulam general hospital my girls are doing a performance over there uh, for the cancer patients so look at uh, is there any uh, special costume no light broad no. daylight any a uh, prop yes they are using this uh, parija and the sword this uh, uh, these two things they are using it other than no nothing is there no makeup is there so no mic is there so drama is happening over there for those who are not in kerala they are doing traditional kerala martial art kalari pad see the girl is in the air she is dabbing in the air if there is a uh, fight scene uh, that means a rift between two people and uh, you know, for that i have used this kalari pad because these two girls are well versed in uh, performing kalari pad that is what you i usually do if there are people know to skate i will uh, use uh, skateboards in my drama so uh, what i am doing is i am tapping out all the talents my children are having and pulling out to get a best performance on stage okay next here are some theater words you should know and these words are very much familiar to you the first word is protagonist what is the meaning of the word protagonist the main character yes main character lead character and there is certain conditions and certain norms and certain instruction how a protagonist should be he is the embodiment of goodness all goodness he is very good at heart he is helping everybody and all 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 good or we can call him in a very simple way hero who is antagonist the villain the villain villain yes the character who is acting against the protagonist is called antagonist very easily we can call hero and villain and in a play what is happening is the conflict between these two characters the two lead characters one standing for good and one standing for the bad and this conflict is pulling the play forward and finally at one point the director or playwright is revealing or finding a solution for this conflict that point we call it as climax and if it is a good playwright or a good director no uh, audience sitting in front can guess what will be the climax that is the, uh, the real smartness of the writer and the uh, director uh if uh, the persons who are watching cannot judge or cannot guess what is the real climax if it is able to guess early it is known as anti climax it is a flop show next word please purna satish time i am going to parane yes sure sure we have enough time now okay next is cops on stage when i explain this i'm sure that many of you have this experience if you have done drama the thing is that unnecessary one actor laugh at a scene and that laugh is infectious and the 
actors others, uh, or the stage are also started laughing. This is very common in children's plays. When they are dressed up and on the stage and they are seeing the audience, especially their parents or someone, those who are familiar to them, and they forget that they are characters. They will uh, unknowingly start laughing. And laughter is infectious. It will spread out. See, here the three lady characters are emoting very seriously. What the boy is doing is simply laughing. This is just a sample picture I have taken. So this is a situation happening in the play quite common and it is going the whole show. Corpse on stage. Next word. Look at his expression. Dry on stage. Yes, you have good preparation. You have gone through all rehearsals. You have bicarded the line. You are very sure of what you have to do. But when the curtain is up and when the show is worn, forgets the line and standing like this. Quiet, 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 embracing for the performer. And this will uh, spoil the whole show. This condition is called dry on stage. I think many of you have this experience. Because dry on stage is a uh, situation happening only, not only on drama, when you are entering a speech, when you are reciting a poem, when, or when you are singing a song, then all uh, there is a chance to forget the lines and you will stand still. This is called dry on stage. Anyone has this experience of being dry on stage? Eh? If you are telling no, you are lying to me, I'm very sure. It is quite, I have several, several occasions. I have prepared many, many points and on the stage I forget it. And I will do blah, blah, blah and come back. I, I will, don't think yes. that happened to me. Yes, 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 yes. I don't yes. think that happened with me ever. Yeah, it happened with you ever. You are a lucky boy. If it never happened with you. Really, really lucky. The thing is that you told me that you are not into theatre. Am I right? Yes, but then I have to give some speeches and presentations and this and that. I'm always okay. nervous before and uh, after. I'm never nervous in the period. Oh, very good. Very good. And there is a technique to overcome this. Big people know it. They will improvise. They will act out something else and cover the situation. But in small children, they are not that much naive. They don't know that much tricks. That uh, uh, that much uh, imagination and tricks are not with them. They will fall, simply stand there. Some will cry on stage. And that will affect other people standing on the stage. The whole uh, show is over. Now, what I do is I will come directly to the stage and say, this no problem. We Let us continue the show. I will encourage my children to continue the show. Because they are all small children. Forgetting a line is quite normal. And the audience will also take it like that. Okay. Now, Puna. Yes, position on the stage is also very, very important. Now we have gone through the stages. And how you are standing on the stage is also very important. You cannot select a position on the stage as you like it. It is all the priority, uh, privilege and decision of the director. This is the most promising, most uh, uh, powerful and uh, uh, catchy position in theater. It is called an uh, open position. Why it is called open position? Can anyone help me? Because it's always open to new changes. It is open to new changes. More than that, it's fully open to the audience. For whom we are performing? We are performing for the audience. 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 So uh, we have to give the best from us to the audience. Here, if we are able to stand like this, all your body movements, your gestures, your look, your lip movement, everything is visible to the audience. And this is the privilege usually given to the lead characters. Okay, next one. This is uh, a position called a cheat out position. Why it is called cheat out position? Because two people, uh, two characters are speaking each other and they are giving us an illusion 
that they are looking face to face. But actually, they are not looking face to face. They are standing at a 45 degree angle or a profile position they are keeping and talking. But when we are looking at them, we feel that they are looking at each other's face and talking. So a little bit of cheating is there. That position is called cheat out position. Next, please. Yes, this is called the closed position because whole body is turned away from the audience and face is just uh, so returned to the uh, back of the stage. This is the weakest position on a stage and usually directors avoid this position. But sometimes for dramatic effect, uh, some directors use this. In this in this position, just imagine all the five are standing like this and at this point of movement, turning direct uh, towards the audience and taking an open position. Open position means fully facing the audience and says something loudly, it creates a great impact. This is called the closed position. Yes, now uh, let us see uh, how theater came into uh, existence. It is from Greece, the origin. Uh, it is believed that theater originated in Greece. This picture shows the god of wine, Dionysius, the god of wine, see grapes in his hand. And for Greece people, the festival of Dionysius is very, very, very important. They celebrate it with great festivity, revelry, the music and other performances. And Thespius is the royal singer of the royal musical group. Every year during the festival of uh, this uh, Dionysius, the royal musical group will render musical concert. One day, while performing, uh, this test face will quite bored because every year, same thing is repeating, singing, singing, chorus is repeating. He wants some change. What he did is that he moved away from the team and started to say something with a hand gestures, body movement and uh, some movements. It was all direct dialogues in common man's language, but all things were uh, there in the uh, poetry uh, or the po uh, songs line itself. King Solon was there to watch the play. King was so furious. He waited till the end of the show. After that, he called this piece and said, Tespius, today you have done a very serious, unpardonable cry. Tespius said, Your Majesty, why are you saying like this? I haven't done anything wrongly. What I told and what I said as dialogue are all in the song. For years and years, we are singing the same song. Then Solon said, there it is. When it is a song, it is not that much dangerous. People will enjoy it. They are, will carry it away by the tune and melody. They are not much bothered about what is written in the lines. But today, your performance was dangerous. You spoke in common man's language. And now they understood what is there in these lines. It directly went into their heart. Then to their brain, they started to think. They started to understand their language. Tomorrow, these people will turn against me and use their hand. So, Thespius, now itself, stop this new style of performance. Acting is banned in Greece. So, dear young friends, on the first day of performance itself, drama got censorship. But this piece was very clever. In Greece, there was a rule that if you are wearing a mask and speaking, your words are uh, considered as the words of the mask. You are not going to get punishment. So this piece wrote dramas performed wearing masks. And in Greece, the people, those who wear masks is called a Hippocrat. It is a Greek word. Hippocrat is a Greek word. And thus theater started. The first actor is Thespius. And 
uh, in all over the history, people are afraid, rulers are afraid of theater. In Rome, they won't give citizenship to actors. On Sundays, the person who has, who has acted in a drama were asked to, uh, were whipped publicly in front of the church for the salvation of their soul. Uh, tell me why uh, the rulers are so much afraid of drama, not of any other art form. They want to ban it. Because the dramas contain the rights about people and they want... Yes, an yes, very correct. Drama is holding a mirror to the society, what is happening around it. And earlier we told that real drama is the conflict between the protagonist and the antagonist or the conflict between the good and the bad. In all the plays, the bad is always whom? The rulers. And the good or the protagonist is someone from the uh, common man. This irritated them a lot. So they banned it. And there are some words coming to English from uh, the story of Thespis. Thespian, what is the meaning of the word? Very commonly we see in newspaper when they are writing about a movie, article, say this. Amida Bachan, the Thespian actor, Amir Khan, the Thespian actor, if from Malayalam, I would say Mamuti, the Thespian actor, or Mohan Lali, the Thespian actor. What is the meaning of the word Thespian then? Any idea? Wild Wild Guess? Drama? Drama, no. It's a great Thank actor, great you. actor, great actor, like Thespius. A great actor. So the word Thespian is now a common word in English. It is from uh, Thespius. Mask all of us know. Now it's a part of our life and a part of our body. Uh, that means cover up. Hippocrate, what is the meaning of the word Hippocrate? It's a Greek word. The one who says something then acts differently. Yes, a cheater. He is the person who is keeping double face. And chorus, of course, uh, sing group of singers who is following the uh, lead actors, uh, sorry, lead singers. Here, I am going to do something for you and you should promise me that after that you will do something for me. Sure? Sure? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Is there any inhibition for that? No. 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 In theatre, uh, you should be fully free. Keep away all your inhibition. We, uh, two, three years back, I went to Dhaka and I happened to visit a theatre. Uh, and I was very much attracted by the caption kept there. Keep away your shoes and egos before entering the auditorium. So, when you are into a drama, be ready to do anything. Keep your egos and everything away. So, one word, Maji. Here, you can give me a word. I will add one word to each. And I will use, with that two words, I will try to convey certain emotions to you. You should tell me what is the emotion I am trying to bring out or what is the situation I am trying to bring out. Here, I am using my body language. We, since I am sitting, you are getting only the uh, facial expressions and my, a part of my hands expression. My voice modulation, I am trying my level best to uh, change my voice according to the situation. Expressions, I am trying to bring out my, some expressions on my face and gestures. Some uh, movement of my leaf size or something like that. So with that, I'm trying to bring out certain emotions to you with just two words. Which is the word you are going to give me? Just one word. Mother. Mother. Okay. Now I am going to take the word umbrella. So 
the two words are mother and umbrella visibly no relation entirely different two things one is a person and other is a thing yes i will try to enact it with a, uh, some emotion first i am trying to say mother umbrella what mother umbrella what is the emotion i am trying to bring out or oh, nothing is there then i am a poor actor surprising questioning questioning and like, along with that question there is a little bit of anger also is mother umbrella is it was that not, not type of questioning no a little bit finger and questioning next oh mother umbrella lazy lazy more on that type of disgust disinterest we are not interested in mother who is bothered about it umbrella what about it let it be there and the next one who oh, mother ha huh? umbrella surprised surprise or excitement surprise or excitement then <laughs> oh mother <laughs> umbrella <laughs> what is it happiness happy happiness laughter, laughter. Oh, that laughter can be somebody wrote in joking correct that laughter can be joking so laughter is there and the last one <laughs> mother umbrella <laughs> what is it crying sad crying crying and sad see just two words we are using mm-hmm. and there is no connection between the words but we are able to uh Uh, uh so thank you a couple and mom you are very good in acting okay thank you so uh the thing is that the word is not much very important your body is speaking more than your words your face is speaking more your voice modulation is speaking more your gestures are speaking more and other word uh other wise it is that in real conversation 85% of communication is happening through your body language and gestures all the professional area we are using drama in that class the t- it's a saying in english that teaching is 80% drama and 20 20% teaching if the teacher is coming to the class and saying students today i am going to speak you about independence day india got independence on 1947 will anybody listen no, no it is quite boring and on the other way she is uh, using some uh, dramatic technique and using her body and some uh, expressions it will be quite interesting and this drama technique is using on speech also if your speech is really monotonous nobody is going to enjoy it okay so in your daily conversation also unknowingly we are using our body language and gestures for effective communication now it is your turn you have to keep your promise i have done my job and you have to be complimented me next puna next slide the name of the game is face off i am going to what was the uh, previous game's name one word magic this is face off i am going to give an imaginary mask to your hand you have to put it on your face just take it in your hand place it on your face i remove it like this and you have to act out what i am say you can use the words which you want in between to enhance your performance always actor has that right if you want to enhance your performance you get ah oh uh, some words you can add 
you have that privilege. So, are you all ready? Now it's your turn. All of you are ready. Keep your palms open. Somebody is cheating me. Rebecca, open. Ethan, open. So, okay. Ready? Keep your palms open. I'm giving you the mask. Lift it up. Place it on your face. Place it on your face. Open lip. Place it like this. Remove it. Now you are put on a happy mask. Let me see your faces. How many of you are happy? So, are you ready to show your happy face? Heart Mika. Happy face. Show me your happy face. Mecca is yes, really, really happy. Clemmy, happy. Be very happy. It's a pleasure to see someone's happy face. Okay. Jenna, so sad. Okay. Now take off that mask and ready for the next one. Happy mask was so easy. So, next one, be ready. I'm giving the mask, take it and put on your face. Put a, keep it like this first. Put on your face. Remove it. A laughing mask. A laughing mask. Remove an atmika kaimatiko. Chirike, non night chirike. Chirikumba, no action. You can keep your hand on your head. You can uh, keep your hands like this. Let me see who are all Ethan Archita Poi Ayadi Illa Sri Lakshmi. Please open Sri Lakshmi Navajit. My God, all are running away. Any Atmikas today, Meenakshi is not there. Ah, yes, I'm here. Meenakshi is very much there, yes. Oh, yes, Minakshi, I want to see your uh, laughing mask. Please demonstrate it for me. Put on the mask. Take, take the mask. Put on your face. And now, laughing mask. Only that much laugh? No noise? Okay. This is uh, primarily we give to shed away the inhibition of children. This is the technique usually used in even corporate offices to keep their shyness and inhibitions and okay. Here, Puna next next one. Face of over. Next next one. On your feet. Here, what you have to say is that you have to make at least one dialogue for the situation. I am giving you a picture and imagine you are walking through that space and then you are saying something uh, out of your experience. And now I will call your names one by one. Okay. Got the gist of the play? I will show you a picture and just imagine you are walking through that, your, that place and you are experiencing uh, this, uh, certain things in that space and you are saying something. And at least one dialogue I should get from you. Okay, first one, Buna. A snowy valley. You are walking through a very, very snow-covered place. It is chilling. You may not have your woolen chairs. You might have forgotten to take your gloves or your boots. Something like that. Think, 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 think. One dialogue, one sentence. You are saying and standing over that place. Yes, Avinash. Oh, it's so cold. Um, I wish I could, I could have taken my gloves that I forgot in the hotel. Okay, very good. Uh, usually, we have to put into drama, dramatic tone. I'm just leaving it. Now, I would like to get from Kayati. Kayati, how, how should I pronounce your name? Kayati, correct? Kayati, okay. Oh, I'll go to the gym today. 
Okay, good. Now I would like to Pavitra. Oh, it's so cold. I will be facing today. You are so happy, no? You are so cold and you are so happy. Okay, I would like to get from Arti. It is really cold. It is really cold? It's okay, fine. Put on next slide. It is rain and thunder. It is rain and thunder. You are walking through this rain and thunder. One sentence. Meenakshi. Um, the rain poured upon me heavily and the bright light of the lightning uh, uh, the bright light of the lightning hit me like um, the fight that I had with my mother earlier. Okay. In, she's all drenched in the uh, rain and she's writing poetry. Very good. Very good. Highly poetic lines. And Agnes? Very good. That is drama. That is real drama. Okay. Next slide, please, Buna. It is in the desert. No water. You are uh, all tired. It is coaching sunlight. And I would like to get Nikhil. I should have bought an extra bottle of water with me. Okay. Okay. So let us wind up this. This is how we are making dramas from uh, lines from situations and that such lines are joining to the and we are making a scene and uh, blending up these scenes we are making a drama. Okay, now with a small story I will wind up my sessions. A very story. Uh, two more slides are there. Uh, in the beginning I told you that I use theater in my teaching. I wanted to act definitely. Oh, I'm so happy. Then she says that he is not acting. He is not interested into acting. Now he's saying he wants to act. Oh, my day is done. Happy, happy. Okay. For all three. Okay. Uh, theater in education. So this is how I, I will just demonstrate a session where I'm teaching a concept to theater. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a leaf. She was so, so happy always. She has a friend, sun, and another friend, wind. They were so happy uh, together, and the leaf lived on a big tree. One day, the tree was controlled by Uncle Trunk, who is always so angry and irritated without any reason. One day, Uncle Tree came and said, our little happy leaf, hey, you should make today a great feast for my friends before sunset. Our little leaf was so scared. She don't know what to do. Prepare food for a lot of people. Father, friend of this angry uncle, Trunk, she started to cry. When she was crying, her dear friend son came and asked, Oh, my dear sweet little girl, my greenie, why are you so sad and why are you crying? She said, oh, today Uncle Trump told me to prepare food oh, for the guests who are coming and I don't know what to do. Then son, her son said, oh, my poor little girl, we can do it. Keep your green leaf straight towards me. And green leaf kept her uh, upper surface close towards the uh, face in the sun. Then came the wind and asked, Oh, my dear Grinny, why are you so, so sad? She said, I have to prepare food for the guest coming. I don't know what to do. Then she, uh, so the wind said, don't worry, my little girl, be ready, keep your green leaves ready, sun will give you sunlight and I will give you carbon dioxide for cooking. 
that time, the granny roots of the tree said, Oh, my little girl, don't worry. I will suck water, run, to run, put it and pop it to you. You can start your cooking. Green leaf was so, so happy. She started cooking with the help of sunlight, water from the, given by the roots, and the carbon dioxide given by the uh, wind and she prepared great feast and food was ready. Then she said to the wind, oh my dear best friend wind, you gave me carbon dioxide so I am giving you back oxygen. You can give it to the living things because you are giving everybody the uh, oxygen needed for breathing. You take it. And she said to sunlight, oh, my dear son, you are always very full. I'm giving you some water vapor to cool you down. Then uncle tree trunk came over there. When he saw the prepared food, he was so, so happy. Thus, with the help of sunlight, water and carbon dioxide, leaves started to prepare their food. And it is called photosynthesis. How was it? Will any child ever forget this? We are enacting it. Now I told it. We are enacting it. They will never, never forget. And then uh, the sun said a word to the uh, leaf and also said, Oh, my dear friend. A friend in need is a friend indeed. So they are studying a proverb from there. They are studying some value also. A friend in need is a friend indeed. And the wind said, oh, my little leaf, gratitude is the best attitude. So from this simple science lesson, what all things you have learned? You learned many things. How was it? You enjoyed it? Yes. And, and what about theatre? Is it that much bad? No, it is really, really inspiring. So uh, I'm very much grateful to Krishna Das, Satish, Anil, and all my sweet little darlings who be with me. My day is done. I'm so, so happy. I'll play it. And this is called photosynthesis, said Little Leaf. Although Uncle Trunk grumpier friend, Uncle Trunk's grumpier friend complained, it looks like a brilliant mini energy shakes. Hmm. Excellent! You are a great actor. Thank Wonderful. You. Good modulation, good expression. Oh, really, really fantastic. Thank and you. Experience. 